everyone, Jay here. Quick update on the market um, and what I'm doing next for Bitcoin um, and most other coins here. You know, so, so far what we have is a sideways action in this market and we've been um, playing out these um, channels quite well here. So you can see that, you know, when, we, when we're stuck in one channel, we eventually break the support or resistance and we move up or down to the next channel, right? Um, we've been stuck at this high channel up here at 22.9, which if you really zoom out at it on the daily or weekly, you'll see that this channel actually lines up quite nicely um, with the top of our current or our previous highs up here um, back in November around 64k. Um, so this is so these are some very important channels here to look out for. Now I just mainly drew these lines real quickly, um, but if you know if you, if you apply maybe a fib channel um, or a um, you know like a fork or something, you probably get much more accurate um, channels that are much more interesting to look at too. Um, however, you know um, sometimes. You know, it makes the chart a little bit cluttered. So anyway, um, how I'm trading this? How I'm trading this right now? Well, I'm posting all this stuff in Discord. So make sure you're in the Discord. Um, you know, we did have I did post a long earlier today at twenty two five eighty eight, which is this green line right here. Um, and that was a nice wicked bottom. Um, that was where a lot of liquidity was being held at this value area low. Um, we did wick it. However, we didn't fill all of five hundred. So there's still some volume here. If we do start dropping. I do expect, you know, before you make a lower low, you're going to make a higher high. So I do expect it to come down and first make a um, higher low. Sorry, I'm, hopefully I said low. Expect it to come down and first make a higher low before I make a lower low. Okay. There is still some volume at 500 though um, that we could test. Now keep in mind about what we're looking at here. We still have overall bullish structure, right? We still have higher lows um, in this entire range here. Overall, we still have some some good bullish structure, and we are kind of making higher highs. But overall, we're consolidating, and if we are consolidating, you know that would mean almost like a symmetrical triangle where we you know play out to the upside. Um, but just because we fit a symmetrical triangle doesn't mean we're going to go to the upside, right? So um, let's take a look under the hood and see what's happening here. So when we look at our volume here. Last we talked about it, we said that this um, you know on this previous leg up here in this range of 20, uh, 206 to 216 you know it looked like our our whales and our normal buyers all were still accumulating for the most part however on this leg up up here to the 23 uh, k area 226 we've seen a lot of the whales start to sell off here which is this white line down here um a little bit concerning and they've really not been picking up since then you know they've really been kind of selling off and that's why we've kind of just been stuck in this range maybe making lower lower highs um as well but we can see our minnows and most of our other buyers are still kind of picking up the slack for the most part. Our open interest is dropping, you know, as um, you know, market uh, activity kind of drops as well. Maybe there's some buyer fatigue here. We'll have to see what happens though. Um, for the most part though, I'm still targeting this 22.5 as another area. We should get another bounce here around 22.5. Um, as for shorts, I'm targeting the top of this channel right now, um, which I'm currently in a short um, at the moment. So 23.1 was the top of this channel. I would continue us to, you know, if we do break above this channel, I would expect to test uh, 23.3 up in this um, box up here, 23.4. Um, and then above that, you know, we're looking at 25K. It would be pretty strong. 24K is also a very strong area too. So if we start pumping up, I would expect bounce at 24K, 25K. And this is a pretty strong liquidation zone up here at 25.5. Um, and then going up from there, we should have a quite a big gap up. You know, if we do make it above 25.5, you know, probably we'll get rejected around 28K then at that point, maybe 29. A lot of volume up in this area um, to get rejected at. On the way down, if we do start going down, you know, there's a lot of volume in this previous area over here um, between 206 and 216. We will not just fall straight through this area, okay? That won't happen. So what's going to happen is, you know, we're going to probably drop down if we lose this area at 223. 223. If we lose 223, we will drop down and probably touch 216. Okay? There's no volume in this entire area here to stop us. We will fall all the way down to 216, right? Um, you know, maybe we get a slight bounce there. But we will not fall through this entire area. There's a lot of volume in this area, okay? So, you know, what I'm doing is I'm watching this 21.3 area. If we drop below 21.3, 
I'm going to have my longs ready down here at 21. Okay. Anywhere down here, 21 will be the first bounce. Okay. Um, but currently, I'm loading up on shorts right now um, until the market kind of makes a decision here. Um, it starts showing higher uh, higher highs, okay? Otherwise, I'm looking to short up here, um, you know, and then looking to long down here, um, anywhere above, you know, 22.4, but first we're gonna stop at 25, or 22.5, okay? Um, pretty straightforward. Anyway, make sure you join the Discord. I'm posting a lot more calls these days, um, so make sure you, you, know, you don't miss out.